Hello friends, so today I'm going to do a new What's My iPhone tag because I have a new iPhone and let me tell you, this phone is so glorious, like it's just so new, so sleek, so big. So right now I have the iPhone 12 Max and before I had the iPhone X which was great but after a while, since it is 3 years old, it became really old, it got cracked, it got smashed, <laughs> it's just been through a lot and as you can probably tell by that stage, it was just really slow and getting really um, low battery so that's why I had to upgrade because my contract did end and oh my gosh, this phone is such a huge improvement, I didn't expect to have such a big jump towards efficiency and the camera quality but it does have such a big difference towards quality so oh my gosh i'm scared to bring it out sometimes because of just how new and sleek it feels i don't have a perfect case for it yet because i'm still waiting for it online but oh wow oh my gosh if you guys want to upgrade your phone i would definitely recommend it if you do have the funds to it or you want to upgrade it all this time because this is such a game changer anyways moving on also also by far, my favorite part of my phone definitely be the Pokemon icons on my home screen. I just think it's so adorable. Also got them color coded, so I got in pink, in orange, in red, purple, blue, and green, just to make things a little more organized. Pokemon has always been such a big part of my childhood, so seeing this every day on my phone just makes me feel a little more happier every time I open my phone up. I'm just gonna start screen recording now, so you guys have a better idea of my homepage. Also, I only have one home page on my actual phone because I tend to realize that it makes me go on my phone less, which is a good idea for me personally. And the first thing I have is going to be a little Jigglypuff. I love her. She's one of my favorite Pokemons. And it's going to be Canva. So Canva that I use probably almost every day of the week is going to be for YouTube thumbnails, my Instagram stories, as well as some of my Instagram, I guess, promotional equipment, especially one of my foodie accounts. So I tend to use that. Image is another name of photos, so I tend to store all my photos there. I go on my photos, my page a lot, just to like look at old memories or just to edit my photos, and that's a really good way to have it there on screen right at the top because I tend to go on often. YouTube, I do go on every day for like my friend's YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and just like general, like leisurely watching. YouTube Studio is going to be an app that every YouTuber uses. It's going to be storage for photos, not photos, sorry, comments for analytics as well as well as revenue so if you're a youtuber i definitely would recommend downloading this for your analytics on your channel then i have lightroom which is going to be something that i use not every day but i need to use it often when i wanted to edit my thumbnails as well as my um foodie instagram stories not stories as well as my photos then i have meditation and oh my gosh let me tell you if you guys don't meditate i please would recommend you to meditate because it definitely has changed my life for the better it's great for my mental health, it's great for just my overall anxiety, it's just great to make me feel like a better person every day. So if you guys want a whole video on meditation, I would love to um, share with you guys because I am passionate about how meditation has definitely made me a better person at the end of the day. So let me know in the comments below if you want that. Uh, I don't have the actual meditation app because I tend to realize that most meditation apps there are a lot of paid versions of them. I tend to just watch meditation or listen to meditation videos on YouTube. But I just like to keep it there as a reminder to meditate when, every time I'm on my phone. Okay, next one is going to be the weather app. And I tend to use this before I go out or just want to be curious about the weather. I like seeing how hot and cold each weather is going to be throughout the week. So I tend to use it almost every day, probably a few times uh, in a day actually. Then I have Gmail, which is going to be for my emails, and I just want to check that out, so it's just easier to be on my homepage. Facebook, I don't use that often. I'm not too sure why I used it. It's going to be for more Kath and Kim memes, so if you guys don't watch Kath and memes and you're Aussie, it's honestly the best iconic Aussie humor that I have. So it's on Netflix if you guys want to watch it out. I just put a, a, a photo over here, but it's just so funny. Anyway, Snapchat's what I use. Probably not every day, only a few times a day because I want to check what my friends are doing. Some of my friends aren't on Instagram, so I tend to just check what they're doing there. It just makes me feel connected to them, but other than that, I don't really go on Snapchat. Then I have LinkedIn, which is going to be our social media platform, but for professionals. So if you guys are probably already know what LinkedIn is, so I'm not going to further elaborate on that. Then I have Talk, Talk which is going to be, I guess I'll say... Uh, Korean version of WeChat. So if you're Korean, you most likely have Kakao Talk on your phone. I talk to my dad and mom and my family there in Korea on my on that app. So that's gonna be like something that I use daily if I want to talk to my parents. Then I have settings, which is gonna be just settings on my phone. 
Then I have clock, which is going to be for my alarms, which I usually like to do or like when I want to have like a stopwatch for whatever reason, maybe like I'm cooking food. Apps is going to be something that I use quite often because as you can see on my phone, I don't really have a place to see what apps need to be updated. So I tend to just click on that every, every few or so days and just update my apps accordingly. Maps is going to be used probably not every day, but I tend to use it quite often when I'm driving. Even when I don't know where I'm going, I like to keep maps on because it makes me feel, I guess, secure when I'm driving. I do get anxious when I drive. That's the thing that I personally have to work on for this year. But I definitely think knowing where you're driving, especially when you have like car crashes and so forth, it's good to know like what's going on, especially when you're driving. You can't like look at the, um, your route when you're driving. Then I'm up, which is going to be my savings account. So I tend to have different sort of banks for different needs. For example, my credit card, my savings card as well as my normal banking. So I tend to have different apps for them. Also got my normal banking account, which is gonna be ComBank, which is gonna be one of the four largest banks in Australia. This is gonna be for my investment stuff, which is gonna be ComSync. So I tend to invest through the app there. Then I have Bible, which is gonna be really help me when I have anxious. So when I used to have really, really bad anxiety attacks, which was early this year, I don't really talk about it because I tend to not get that personal on YouTube, but I used to have really, really bad anxiety attacks. And what really, really helped me was going and reading Bible verses because I was raised as a Christian. Then I flirt and Flo is going to be probably not with every, any guy they have on their phone, but probably something that every girl has on their phone because it's going to be for your menstrual cycle. So I don't really know when my menstrual cycle comes. I have like a general idea, but I like to know exactly when it's coming the next day for example if i'm having an event or if i'm just feeling a little bloated it gives me comfort knowing that my little lady friend's coming on a specific day especially because for me i get really really bloated two days before my period when i can't fit my clothes i know it's because of my period and it just gives me um i guess awareness of how my body's going and things like that and then i also have pokemon which is going to be something that i do use sporadically so sometimes i get really passionate about pokemon go <laughs> i'll like go for extra long walks just to catch on pokemon or like do the quest for that and that's going to be something that i think helps me in the healthy sense of things because i like to go on longer walks it makes me motivated to actually go for walks sometimes but it's very sporadic so sometimes i go on pokemon go for a few weeks and then stop for a few months to a year so it's just there because i think since the pokemon go apps is going to be on my pokemon home page it's just playing um patronage to pokemon <laughs> and then i have beam which is going to be something that is a app where you just send money from it's going to be really convenient for you if for example you're going out with friends and you're trying to split the bill but it's hard because everyone has different banks it's just hard to know like who's sending money to who then as a market which i don't use often is more towards my foodie account that i go on the trendy restaurants i say in my area so moving on to the actual part of my library which is going to be all the apps that i have on my phone and this is going to be something that i use not as often compared to my home page but something that i use maybe throughout the week and the first thing i have is solitaire and solitaire is like the only game that i have on my phone other than pokemon go and solitaire is something that i use like it's a kind of like a card game that i have and it's going to be something that i use on public transport or like when i'm walking i'm just going to zone up at the same time like have my fingers do something so it's going to be something that i use often but not too much it's only i guess product occasions then i have dyson which is going to be really cool i'm just going to show you now uh, let me just screen record that and this kind of shows like how pure the area is so i do have an air purifier that i bought during boxing day sales and this is just going to be really easy for me to know how dirty the air especially when bushfires are really bad last year and it just makes me feel at ease knowing that my cats my whole family can have purified air at home oh my gosh the data's not loading we'll just move on from that then i also have these apps that i never actually used before and never actually had before compared to my previous iphone updates so it's called i think iMovie and things like that and i never actually use them because i only have been have this phone for a few days but if i do need them i just leave it there because it did come with the phone and i was so surprised when i had these apps on my phone because i was like i didn't have this on my iphone x this must be really new who knows and then i don't really have anything else other than hmm i have pronto which is going to be something that i use for thumbnails on my youtube channel I have Vodafone app, which is going to be something that I use for mo mobile usage and see like, how much data I have left, which is going to be something that I don't use often because I use my Wi-Fi a lot. Also have Netflix. Oh, and let me tell you, thank you, Susie, my sister, who has given me access to a Netflix account because I actually don't have Netflix. I, I think it's a waste of money because I actually don't watch um, movies that much. But 
now that I have Netflix, I just feel ease to know that if my friends do come over, I can like share the Netflix channel with them and watch something there. Because I do like to have friends sleeping over, like or one friend sleeping over my house at a time. And it just makes things a lot easier to have something there to entertain them because I don't really have many board games at home, I'll say. My cats are a bit shy, so sometimes, depending on person, they might not want to talk to them. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's a cat thing. I think you understand when you have a cat, sometimes they're really shy, sometimes they're outgoing. And I think that's about it. I do have hmm, Uber Eats. I do have that, but I don't like spending money on that. I like to buy my groceries. I do have Plant Nanny, and Plant Nanny is so cute. So Plant Nanny is basically an app where you would um, give you reminds them like when you would need to drink water. Because sometimes I forget to drink water. I know it's really bad. Like even when I'm talking and I'm getting thirsty, like I tend to forget drinking water. So I, I do have this as a reminder for other days to see how much water I'm drinking, especially when I can see how much water I have drank for the day and next day if I should drink more. Because it's something that I always forget to do: drink water. And I think that's about it. I do have store card, which is going to be something what I use for my loyalty card. So I don't like to carry a wallet. Sometimes I like to carry my phone because I do pay for my phone a lot. And store cards are where you can have like big W reward cards, like flybys, as well as woolies. So that's going to be really convenient on the go. And I think that that's about it. Also use Pinterest and <laughs> it's so random, but I only use Pinterest to see for nail info. So the only reason why I go on it is because I want to see like different nail trends and like see different designs for it. Right now it's just plain white. I painted over them because they did get a bit chipped, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay. And yeah, I think that's about it. Nothing out of the ordinary. And yeah, I think that concludes the end of my what's my iPhone tag. And yeah, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you later then. Bye!